Okay. Let's sneak through the trees on this fish if I can get through here with my pack. Oh. Okay, that'll work. I want to come up above this guy and uh, hopefully I won't spook him. All right, now I gotta locate him. There he is, right there. Wow. Come in low and slow. One fish already moved out. It's incredible. I've already spooked these guys, maybe. Let's see what I can do here. So as you guys can see, I am very encumbered today. Big heavy pack on. You don't normally see me with this, but I am fulfilling a request, actually multiple requests from my nephews to do a streamside catch and cook. So that's the goal today. See if I can catch a fish and cook it up Alaska shore lunch style right here over the open flame. So I'm dedicating this video to Mike, Nick, Matt, and Blake, my nephews. Hope you guys enjoy. It's gonna float outside of him, unfortunately. I'm gonna have it go through because there's some other fish back there. Well, that guy's looking. And anybody? Man, it's like they came and looked, but said nah. No thanks. All right, guys, I'm gonna switch up the flies here a little bit. Uh, let's see, go with maybe like a small bead head. Let me take out one of these bead head zebra midges. Put that down as a dropper. See if that will do the trick. Oh man, that might be the cast right there. It's lining up nice. I got a cast way up above him in this um, water just to give it time to sink down to him. See if I hook that log. Nope, I floated over that, so that's good. Oh boy, this guy's coming up and he eats it. Yes, look at that. That is awesome. Takes the dry. He's a big fish too. Oh boy, here we go. Nice fish, really nice fish. Awesome. Let me get down in the water here. I can hopefully land him. Oh wow, what a beauty. What a beauty. And that's below me. Okay. Easy does it, buddy. Easy does it. Here we go. It's nice and easy, my friend. Oh yeah. It's a good fish. Beautiful rainbow. And there he is, awesome. Beautiful. Oh yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous rainbow. He's good size too, holy cow. This is gonna, this is gonna provide some definite leftovers, which I'm psyched about. Let's take a good look at this guy. Is my man. It's awesome. Now I gotta get to work. What's amazing with these fish, guys, is you can bonk a fish with just about anything if you hit him in the right spot. So this guy right here. We're gonna tag him right here. There's a knuckle right here. It's like the top of their spine. And there's a little indentation. This is more their skull, just like so. See how the eyes light up? Look at that. He is definitely seeing the light. That means he is done. Even with a hemostat, super lightweight, no problem. All right, guys, got the fish in hand. Now I just have to find a place to do the shore lunch, start a fire, get some coffee going. It's gonna be awesome. Just a great day out here. The birds are chirping. I've seen a couple species of birds already. 
You guys know I'm a bird fan too, right? Anyway, just a great day to be out here and excited to get the shore lunch started. All right, this looks like a decent spot actually. Right here on the snow, just minimize the impact. Nice spot right on the river. So, this looks good, I like it. All right, here it is. The Sven saw from Alaska. Just a great saw. This is the actual saw that I used while guiding up there. And I've had it, gosh, close to 30 years now. Um, still use it to this day. Still same same blade. It's all rusted out, but it's super sharp and does the job. We cut our Christmas tree down with it every, every year. So it just fits together like that. You take the wing nut that was on the bottom, reattach it, and there it is. It's a great saw. Really, really cuts the wood nicely. Oh wow, I think I hit the jackpot here. That looks awesome. Perfect. Does he work for the Sven saw? There we go. Beautiful. Now these guys are awesome because they're up off the ground and uh, nice and dry. Been here a while. They'll make excellent firewood. Now the challenge is grabbing them all. Some more branches. Easy pickings on the ground. Grab these on the way by. There we go. This is gonna be tough getting through the snow. Right there. I'm gonna get some some grass. And this stuff is kind of wet just to make a nice bed for the for the fire here. Just to insulate it a little bit from the snow. That's gonna be that's gonna be just right right there. Gotta get the really dry grass to start the fire with, along with some super tiny twigs and needles. The dry grass, if you notice, is up off the ground. Okay, twigs. Twigs like this are key. Gotta have little tiny twigs. Now that one did not break. See that? If it doesn't break, it's it's not dry enough. It's not dead. Like these brown ones, green ones, they're, they're fresh, so you gotta grab the dead ones. That one's not dead enough. Here's one, so that snaps right off. All these little breakable twigs is what you're what you're after. If you guys do this right, you should literally be able to start a fire with one match, even on snow. The key is staging your fire. Super, super small fuel growing to larger fuel. If you start small enough, you should be fine. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a little tiny teepee right here some twigs and there's a perfect notch for those guys right there i want really small stuff i'm going to lay this on the bottom like this kind of stuff this is super tiny and it's only going to burn for a second but that's all you need in alaska i used to have to start fires every day guiding and you guys know what the alaska weather is like i'm sure it's it's nasty at times so didn't matter if it was pouring down rain, you'd have to find dry wood, whether it's finding a beaver dam or looking under trees or whatever, because the only way you were gonna cook that lunch is with fire, no matter what the weather. Right there, a little fire nest, if you will. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stage my wood, so a little bit bigger twigs. 
I'm going to have those really available for me right here. Bigger yet, I'll separate those out. That end is wet. Okay, wet. A little bit bigger. Build a little bit of a spot where I can get the match underneath there. Nice little clump of fuel so I can literally come in the match right underneath there. That's where I'm going to target lighting this thing at. Now I'm getting into the bigger stuff. Standard book of matches. Let's see if we can get this thing lit with one match. You can just go to a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger sticks. All right, time to get the coffee going. Look at that boil right down there, it's perfect. Just enough for a couple cups is all I need. Now time for the potatoes and onions.
garlic salt, garlic pepper. Get this potato going. Parboiled potato. Wow, the way this smells, I might be calling in a black bear right now. There we go. It's smelling so good. by the fire keep them warm right there refuel a little bit get ready for the fish I thought I might catch a bigger fish today because this river doesn't have a lot of tiny fish so I brought the big skillet some seasonings got some old bay goes right on the top garlic pepper a lot of that's going to come off so you, you use a lot garlic salt and I'm going to flip it into the fresh butter here gorgeous. Same thing with this side. Garlic pepper and garlic salt. Look at that, just blackened, just gorgeous. All 
All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Get some potatoes out. Oh yeah. Nice and hot. Whew. what we'll do is take a piece of fish put it right on the plate there oh yeah wow do that right away from the bones oh. wow Now that is looking awesome. Do a little bit of lemon. Let's try some of this fish. Oh my gosh, melt in your mouth. Oh wow. <laughs> that was awesome. Mmm. Potatoes. So good. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Buttery. Just melts in your mouth. All right, last bite of fish. So good. One of my favorite parts about the shore lunch is having the coffee at the end. And the way I always did it, it's a little bit of hot chocolate. Not a little bit, actually, just a whole one. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much gonna do it. That's the Alaska shore lunch, just the way I used to do it back in the day in the early 90s, guiding for my clients up in Alaska, making fresh fish over the open fire every single day on the, on the river. Just a great experience and something I'll never forget. And this was fun to do today, especially in the snow. So anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, please subscribe. We'll see you next time out on the water.